Peter! Hi, Felicia. Felicia, what a splendid name. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Michael Morbius. Uh-huh, charmed. Please excuse us. <laughs> what B-movie did he come from? The Revenge of Dracula's Ego. Hi, lovelies. So today we're going to watch Morbius. Um, I heard a lot of bad things about this movie, but we're going to get through it. We're going to try. And maybe everyone's just crazy. Um, I mean, it's got Jordan Catalano and Doctor Who. How can it be really like bad, bad, right? Um, so I've been avoiding it, obviously, because of the reviews, but I want to make the decision for myself. I want to know if this movie is really as bad as everyone's saying, or if it's just easy to hate because it's, it's Morbius. So we're going to get into it and hope and pray that... This doesn't suck. This is Lucian, Lucian, Michael. Michael knows more about this place than I do. Hello. Hello, Milo. My name's Lucian. The person who was here before was Milo. No. He was also a new Milo. Before him was the other new Milo. I don't even remember the first Milo. How long have you been here? So he's just a dick. Remember? Milo? His name is not Milo. Nurse? I'm sure someone thought that was a nice idea, but it makes him sound like a dick. Uh, I don't think he's dead. I think he's Matt Smith. It took a team of scientists to build that machine and you fixed it with a ballpoint pen. There's a school for gifted children. Dear Milo, this isn't goodbye. I'm gonna find a cure for us. So we can be cranky old men someday. Your friend Michael. P.S. You shouldn't have unfolded this. Now you'll never get it back together. See you this summer. Ouch. <laughs> Oh, that is gone. Please can I have my letter back? Okay. Please. I don't think I saw shittier kids since it. Nice. Nice. No. You deserve that. Who goes after, like, a sick kid who's on crutches? Let me have a look. Let me have a Stop! 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 Hey, Dr. Bancroft. Hey, Here comes the love interest. Oh, I don't think so. So you know that Dr. Morbius is back? Maybe you should try losing for a while, see how that feels. Mm, not gonna happen. Michael. Uh, yes. You got a minute? He cool. looks so sick. Mm, very collection. Like, he legit looks very <laughs> sick. It looks I like he needs some days twice. off. Oh. It's interesting because the only actual information I have so on Morbius came from the Maggie Spider Man cartoon. And the bat was an accident. <laughs> Pushed up its core in the genetic structure of the blood. These numbers, they make no sense. What is causing them? No! No! Get out of there! I don't know, maybe that's different in the comics. And he was like obsessed you know, you your with that. Shit. It's gonna come back, obviously. It's gonna come back. It's a movie. Why am I still alive if not to fix this? To save my best friend Milo. And everyone else like us. I feel like that Milo thing's gonna grate on me. I was a little girl. We have to induce a coma before she has a stroke. A coma? No. Is that the usual? Like, how do you... Do you have ways of getting people out of comas that are foolproof to induce a coma? 
for it to be fine. Well, yeah, let's just I don't know. That. I am not a doctor. Right. I am just curious. Oh. Michael. It's a movie. What? I'm close, my love. I can feel it. The cure. It's finally possible. Seriously. Highly experimental. Ethically questionable. I really wonder how much of this movie is from the comics. Because I really don't know the history of the character. It would have been interesting if they'd actually like given real comic history. Because again, as I said, all I know is the 90s cartoon. So like, it would have been interesting to actually learn who the character is supposed to be from the comics with like a little bit of differences you with me? but till the day you die brother till the day you die I don't feel like yeah, this is the you. comic story we're the original Spartans mate and the few against the many yeah and I'm really trying to buy the relationships in this movie but so far it's just kind of I don't really buy that they're best friends I don't really buy the love uh, love interest. In but what happened to the mouse that they'd been testing on? Like, didn't they follow up to see any changes? If the mouse didn't eat, if the mouse started you know, only wanting plasma or blood, whatever the hell this movie's gonna do. I know this is painful, but you got it. Uh, oh. That's it, bingo. Right there. Oh. 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 If you've seen the impossible video, I am very squeamish. And that was through bone. Oh. Whew. There you go. Oh my god. I really feel like they should have built more of the Michael, character stop. relationships as like adults because yeah it was great seeing like him meet Lucian when they were kids but like the connections are all like oh yeah I'm supposed to know they've been together for this long or whatever. I didn't really completely hate that action scene, it's just the slow-mo... It's like hit and miss with me nowadays. Oh wow, he's all buffed up. <laughs> I love it. It's all the superheroes, as soon as I get there. As soon as they get their powers. The body just appears. We can thank Peter Parker for that, from Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire all of a sudden just being buff when he became Spider-Man. We have the room, please. You heard the man. Can you please have the room? You could, uh, start oh, Tyrese is in this? Stick. My man needed to get paid. <laughs> Fast and the Furious is only paying so many bills. So if he doesn't continue taking blood, the power wanes, is what I'm assuming is the case, right? So he needs blood to maintain his power so he can use his legs and not be sick. As a result of my procedure, I have an overpowering urge to consume Blood. Human blood. Did you not think that might be a like a side um yeah, side effect. A side effect. What happens if I go without? No blue. No red. Nothing. And then 
eventually, my vitals drop precipitously, and my illness returns with a vengeance. Soon, I'll face a choice. Drink the red, or die. But what happened on that ship can't ever happen again. I really don't like that they've made him, like, just this heroic figure. I would have preferred if he had just been a villain. Like, or even... I mean, maybe anti-hero, but like, I just wanted him to be a villain. Why can't people just be villains anymore? Like, just let someone be bad, but give them a reason for being bad. I know what this hunger is. Like the vampire bat whose genes I have inherited. I hunger for plasma. I took it through my hands. I could feel it coursing through his skin right into my fingers. And as repulsive as it was, I must have more. Michael. Me. Like, to be fair, I'm more okay. invested in Lucian's story than Michael's story. Michael? Michael? What are you doing? Michael, it's Milo! What are you doing? We need help. What's... Blood. Blood! What would he have done if this man had not shown up? What did he plan? Oh, oh, the sound. Oh, the sound of it. Oh. The funny thing is, now that I'm thinking about it, they should have given Michael Lucian's story because it would make much more sense if he became a villain wanting to fight his illness and then once he got that power didn't care because of all the bullying he had received realized that there's a lot of bad people in the world and it, it's just like less of a care for those people and more of a care for himself We, 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 we can make that go away. The ones on the boat, they're, they're, they're thugs, guns for hire. I can make that go away. I don't understand. I do understand. Please, have I ever denied you anything? Have I ever said no? Have I always given you the money? I can't control it! What, so, so, so you get to live and I get to die? Is that it? Why is that room dark? Why are hospitals always dark? They're constantly bright. Bitch, you literally just saw something crawling on the walls and you're walking. You are walking down the hallway. There you go. Pick up the pace. Pick it up. Pick it up. Make me think you actually want to live. Why didn't you just have that light on? And that doesn't stop things from attacking you with light on. Why'd the light turn off? Did she turn the light off as she fell to the ground to, to her death? Get back up and meet me up top. It's really weird because it's like this movie's not actually like bad bad. Like I've seen some bad movies. Um what it is, but like there's still some feeling of like boring to it, which is hard to pinpoint. I don't know if it's just because there's no connection to characters, so you're just kind of like watching a movie with things unfold. Yeah, that's it. I don't really like any characters. That's the problem with the movie. There's oh, no attachment to anybody, even really? to Morbius. What? He's just kind of like a guy Jesus. whose story I'm it's following. Fabulous. There's no connection to him whatsoever or any of the characters the at least that's my personal opinion about the movie you there's no connection why is he pretending to need the crutches you look terrible lawyer huh i don't remember you ever finished in law school because i didn't <laughs> sit down sit down 
Ja. I mean, if one of us was going to end up bright orange trainers, I would never have guessed it would be you. I'm going to be honest. This movie actually is kind of boring because I don't care about anybody. But I still think Max Smith's the most interesting person in the movie. Just because, like, he's playing up the good. You know he's evil. You know he's going to get worse. Like, he's just much more of an interesting character as opposed to Michael Morbius, who at this point, I don't even know what his story is. Like, I don't understand, like, beyond getting better, I don't know what his purpose is. By this point, I knew Spider-Man wanted to right the wrongs of what happened to Uncle Ben. I knew Steve wanted to help the world, right? I'm, like, you know the motivations. I don't know what his motivation is. Like, but now that he's kind of better, now what? Oh god, I love Matt Smith. I just love him. I thought he was always trying to play the, the evil guy too. This movie would be terrible without Matt Smith. I'm not gonna lie, like it's bearable because he's interesting. Took this serum even after I warned you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What am I gonna do? Lay down and die? Thank you for the death wish, bro. I tried to protect you. Protect me, protect me, protect me from what? Is becoming a monster like me? I don't think you're a monster. Okay. I killed the nurse. I killed the nurse. I know. But you know what it's like your first time. You have no idea what you're doing. You have no control. Manuel, you have to stop. You have to stop. You have to stop denying who you are. It's boring. We can go anywhere. We can do anything. Let's go. Let's have some fun. This isn't you. This should have been you. I know you. You cannot make me go back. I won't let you make me go back. Okay, that was kind of cool. Then they're doing all the extra again, like... Was it cheaper to do this? Than to just have it like... This? I don't know. I guess I like it. I don't know. <laughs> I love Matt Smith. Lives we've lived with death hanging over us. Why? Why shouldn't they know what it feels like for a change, Michael? Why is he running away? You went looking for him. It's really hit and miss with that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny. He's still running slow mo. Somehow the train is that fast. I know this is supposed to seem really cool when you did that, but I just. Oh, never mind. It was Michael. Michael. How did he know she would get on that bus? Be here. Let him kill himself. Was he just the on place. the bus, and this or was just a, a coincidence that worked out? I don't understand that scene at all. How did that even make? How did that? How did the two of them? Was that that wasn't planned? I... There's no actual like main purpose in this story it's just a bunch of little random things that keep happening which is fine if you care about the characters and they kind of made it that i don't give a shit so if i don't really give a shit and they're just giving me a little bits and piece of random story that they're encountering why well, would i want to watch it it's like this movie's not even bad there's just no like 
heart to it. There's no heart. I don't want to be with you! You're not the same person I fell in love with! But I am! No! Listen to me! The man I loved wanted to stop a plague in the pain and suffering it caused. You are a plague! I can't live a life that preys on innocent people. Please, Michael. Ah, uh, like, I don't know. I feel like I need to, like, watch the 90s cartoon. What? They have no chemistry. What is happening? I that's me. Like dead a, dead ass stare, just like what? That no, come on now. Come on. Come on. I don't know. Well, when's the last time you had 36 beers? When's the last time you had any beers? And these two are actually annoying. Because what is what is the point of you? What is the point of you? Besides just having to be there because otherwise we would be wondering why are the police looking into this? But to actually like follow them, come on. Check this out. Just destroyed by a stake through the heart, made from the wood of the Holy Cross. You don't believe this? No. Not anything is possible. <sighs> is an antibody that inhibits ferritin and induces a massive. Iron overload, instant hemochromatosis, deadly to bats, fatal to humans. I just realized, didn't he put a little girl in a coma? What happened there? Is is she out of the coma now? I wrote this in the mold. It's up to me to take it out. Guess it doesn't matter. The last bit of interest from this movie. Please, Michael. He is the only thing bearable in this film. Take him so that Morbius too will be known in the same league as trolls do. Well, I want him to hear you. No. Yeah. I want him. When this movie's almost done. Like, there felt like there's no life in this. Like, just kissing someone doesn't make it seem like there's some kind of, like... You know what I mean? Was she giving him the blood? Or was she trying to get some blood from him? Because that shot with her licking her lips was weird. I was so... Oh, okay. It's almost done. It's almost done. I can barely see this. You started this. You created this. You created us. Should I even ask anymore? I feel like I'm constantly saying what? But there's no purpose. Just gonna let the next few minutes play out without question.
For a second, I literally thought he was playing the piano while this was happening. That's how ludicrous this feels. This should be like pretty cool. I don't know why it doesn't feel like that. Cool, cool. It's me. I think he already did, hun. What? Because she took his blood? That was. That felt like two and a half hours. No lie. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. <sighs> Hope the food's better in this joint. Fucking stupid. I'm still figuring this place out, but I think a bunch of guys like us should team up. Could do some good. Intriguing. Why? Okay, so we um we finished Morbius and we got through it. Um, it was bad. I wasn't a huge fan. <laughs> If you like this movie, you connected in a way I couldn't. So, you know what? That's fine. I did not connect. I did not enjoy myself. Um, some of those Matt Smith scenes were funny, so <laughs> I did enjoy myself a little bit. <laughs> some of those were fun, um, but I really would have preferred if they had made um, Morbius a villain as opposed to just a hero. I feel like that's that whole kind of storyline with Lucian could have actually been Morbius' storyline just because he had the most character, which is weird to say. Like, at least I understood uh, Lucian's reasonings for why he didn't care about people. I understood his desire to not want to be, you know, um, he want or wanting to be an able-bodied person because of and not sick because of the years he had to face being persecuted by everyone else so it's like everything made sense for his storyline with michael it was so up and down i really wasn't sure what he was like what his purpose was once like all he wanted he wanted to be better okay you're, you're better but he's like this heroic person just because he saved Lucian's life one that one time when he, they were kids. Like, I don't understand the greater purpose for why he is a hero. So I think it would have made more sense to just make him a villain. All right, guys. So that was Morbius. Thank you for going on that journey with me because trust I would not have wanted to do it alone. And I... <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe. It's up to you. Bye!